Alright, welcome to episode one of the BackwardK.com's Socks Talk. My name is Dave Harding and I will be your host throughout this entire season where the Red Sox look to go back to back as World Series champions. Now, we've already had a lot of games going on today. Uh, we even got to see Josh Reddick make a ridiculous catch on Michael Morse, not once, but twice. And on Twitter, he was telling Morse that he now owes him dinner, and rightfully so. So, tip of the cap to you, Josh Reddick. But now let's talk about my Red Sox. And tomorrow, they will be playing a doubleheader against Northeastern and Boston College. In the first game, we're going to have mostly the starters like Buckholz, Lester, and Lackey. And in the second game, we're going to have uh, on the mound like guys like Workman, uh, the middle relievers, Henry Owens... Uh, maybe some Drake Britton, maybe some High Five City. So a couple prospects that I'm really stoked on this year is Blake Swihart and Christian Vasquez. Now Vasquez has been working with Jose Molina in the offseason, uh, trying to get quicker out of the crouch and throwing down a second, but the guy's already blazing fast at that. So uh, with Pierzynski and Ross and uh, Swihart and Vasquez, we got a stack of catchers. So really the dark horse this year is going to be Grady Sizemore. And can he play... Uh, every day, back to back, double headers, what have you. Are his knees strong enough? He has some gnarly surgeries. He made it all the way back from rehab. Sox only put about 750000 down on him um, to see if he could compete for center field Jackie Bradley Jr. And they've obviously got a big void to fill with Ellsbury leaving to the Yankees. But I think that Sizemore is going to actually turn out to be a pretty good ball player. Um, I don't know if he's ever going to get back to hitting like 20 home runs and batting 300, but if they can platoon him somewhere in the outfield, uh, getting some pinch hits, um, see what they can do there, kind of like a Mike Carp situation for the outfield, I think that would be really beneficial to the Sox. Um, and then just overall, we have such a deep team in the outfield. Uh, Sizemore and Bradley Jr., like I said, Victorino, Nava, Gomes. I mean, those guys are going to be plenty rested. Uh, and then we've got Carp who can play the outfield, but will also be alternating with Napoli at first base. Uh, left side of the infield, of course, Bogarts and Middlebrooks. Herrera coming up through the minors. We'll see what he does. Um, then, of course, the second base, the captain, Mr. MVP, uh, Dustin Pedroia, DH, we've got Big Poppy. Just pay the guy, right? I mean, come on, just just pay him. Come on, you know, just give him the money. Like, extend him. This guy's been the face of the Red Sox forever, ever since 2003 when they got him from the Twins. Um, and then, you know, behind the play, like I said, Ross and Pierzynski with the, the young guys coming up. So it's going to be an exciting year. 2014 spring training baseball is back. Sox take the field tomorrow. Uh, I'll be having a video recap after every Sox game, so you can look for a lot of content coming from me and from the backwardk.com. If you want to follow me, check me out on Twitter, at Davis Media. And another special announcement I want to make is I'm going to be doing a podcast with my homie from L.A., um, and it's going to be talking baseball, pop culture, all kinds of cool stuff. So look for more details on that. And until next time, go Sox. I'm Dave, and take it easy. Thanks for watching.